Everybody knows I'm a cancer now because I'm such a big advocate for my cancer babies. I don't like the way that people be trying to like talk about us. Hey, what's up, Harper's Bazaar? It's Saweetie, and today I'm going to be answering some trivia questions that are all about me. Let's see how I'm gonna do. What season did you guest star on Grownish? I don't know, like the third or fourth? Third. Third, okay, look at me. Because I played an artist, it felt like a regular day for me, which is why I told my agent, moving forward, I don't want to play any musician roles. But nevertheless, it was like a great experience. Yara was super helpful, and the cast was just so friendly and nice. This one, one for me. What type of car are you riding in for the Rich Tivities visualizer? My Rolls Royce, the big mama. When I think of luxury, the most luxurious car that I own is a Rolls Royce. However you want to reward yourself for all the hard work you did is your rich tivity. Rewarding yourself feels really good. However, you have to monitor yourself because you don't want to splurge and like overdo it because then it doesn't turn into rewards. It turns into a bad habit of spending. <laughs> and we don't like to do that. And my accountants will definitely point that out to me. What song did you open with at Rolling Loud Miami in 2022? <laughs> um, back to the streets. Best friend. Girl! Tap in. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, tap in. Every intro for every show is different depending on the environment. So I probably started with tap in to get the people like hyped in the beginning of my set. I'll come in either like super strong if it's a lit audience or if it's more laid back, I'll start with like back to the streets just to like slowly build to that point. But for Rolling Loud, I always like to start the party with some high energy. What Cheesecake Factory dish did you call out when the restaurant joined your Instagram live? The four cheese pasta? Cheesecake Factory? Oh my God! The four cheese pasta be hitting! The four cheese pasta with some ranch is so good. I grew up putting ranch on like my pizzas, my pastas, my spaghetti pastas. Did the Cheesecake Factory give you the gift card you asked for? They did. I still have to use it, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. What is the first line of the second verse in your song, Fast Motion? Rule number one, never be number two. Rule number one, never be number two, ladies. I think it's a mantra everyone should live by. I think it inspires you to just be the best you can be. Mm -hmm. What three high school sports did you compete in? I played volleyball, I ran track, and I played powder puff. It feels like I played volleyball yesterday and I feel like it taught me a lot of things. I got a full ride scholarship to Midwest colleges, but I wanted to stay in like a poppin' city, which is why I didn't take it. But a part of me wishes that I would have experienced being um, a college athlete. What dish did you make with Paris Hilton on Cooking with Paris? I made my famous tacos. I believe I made some octopus tacos and some ground turkey tacos. And we dressed it with some sour cream, some tomato, and some lettuce. I've heard that I make the best tacos. She's so fun, so inviting. And I love that she was fabulous too. Cause when I came, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you dressed up because I'm dressed up. So I like that she's a fabulous woman. Who designed your first Met Gala dress? Christian Cowan. He made the dress in two days because we couldn't decide what I wanted to wear. And when we finally landed on the kind of dress that I was going to wear, he was like, I'm gonna make it super icy for you. Christian Cowan is so talented and that dress was just so beautiful. It had thousands and thousands of Swarovski crystals on it. I can't believe he was able to make it that quickly, but him and his team were great. Being that it was my first time ever going to the Mac Gala by myself, I was really, really intimidated. My heart was beating really fast because you don't get any plus ones. I was like, I can't bring my publicist at least. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most streamed song on Spotify right now? My type or best friend? Best friend. Okay. Do you want to take a guess at how many streams? Five, almost 600 million. 578,127,469. I'm a good guesser. What other artists are you dying to collaborate with? I would love to collaborate with SZA. They were both water signs, and I think that her music is just so sensual and it's really magical. And I love her music videos. I think she's such a beautiful woman, so definitely her. What is your sun, moon, and rising sign? So I'm earth, fire, and water. My sun is a Cancer, my moon is a Sag, and my rising is a Taurus. 
Super, super accurate. Well, I mean, everybody knows I'm a cancer now because I'm such a big advocate for my cancer babies. I don't like the way that people be trying to like talk about us. That's why I try to like spread as much positivity that I can in the in my cancer community. My most cancer traits is loving to eat. I have to eat. Like, I get really hangry. And I'll postmate food anywhere. I remember one time we were partying in Paris and the club was like on a boat outdoors and I post made it to McDonald's in the middle of the club. And I ordered it for like my whole table so all you see is a whole bunch of McDonald's bags come in. And I was just passing them out and I was eating my cheeseburger and my fries. I was a happy girl. What was the first song you sang when you appeared on Bel Air? Was it my type? Dang. I don't know. Happy birthday. Girl, <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> I met Coco Jones for the first time. She was amazing, the cast was great. It was a lot of fun and we shot on a boat. So it was a cool experience. Last show you binged, Good Girls. Favorite designer. Right now I'm definitely a Cavalli girl. Go-to beauty product, oil blotting strips. Last song that was stuck in your head. Gave you a chance and you blew it. Boom, boom, boom. It's unreleased. Go to snack, um, hot Cheetos. Most recent concert you attended? Well, I performed at this concert. It was Diljit's sold out show at the Crypto Arena and I had a really good time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my new song, Nani. And I have another song, it's called My Best. So make sure you guys check it out.